Hey guys, today we're back taking a look at a lot of new PC mods. All of the mods are public and the links can be found down below. Up first, we're going to be taking a look here at the all new Lincoln SUV. This is a pretty sweet vehicle. It is color changeable along with the option for a hitch in the store. Definitely a pretty neat looking vehicle. Really do like it. Uh, this is definitely luxury and this is actually made by Ford. It's a luxury brand here, which is pretty sweet. But once we hop here on the inside, pretty neat lights all the way around. That definitely looks pretty sweet here up front. You guys can see, oh, look at that in the center that does light up as well. But on the inside, you guys can see pretty detailed wow look at that dash and it looks like we do have a pretty cool screen here really do like the seats but overall this is a pretty neat vehicle if you guys do want to see more reviews please hit the like button it's much appreciated as it does help out with the youtube algorithms but up next guys we're going to be looking at a truck released by the rental man buckets a 2008 ford f450 crew cab dually in the store it can be found under the cars category thirty two thousand dollars it's color changeable you do have quite a few different hitch options a cab uh light options plow mount you have a few different steps for it as well chrome plastic you could get a bumper guard there's so many options here. Buck does a great job on it. Uh, mud flaps here. Really do like it. As we keep on going, you could get four wheel drive. You could get a flatbed version. That's pretty much all. You could get a 6.8 liter V10 or you could get the 6.4 liter power stroke. As we take a close look, you guys can see pretty sweet truck here. I really do like it in this color as well. Definitely looks pretty neat here. But once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 86 miles per hour. All the lights do work here on it, which is nice here. Working tailgates, we do have four straps there in the bed. This does have interactive controls, which is neat. And really quickly, let's see what this last option is for. All right, let's take a look here at the interactive controls here. You guys can actually see you can slide the mirrors in and out, which is pretty neat here. You have windows working here on You have a working hood. Look at that power stroke underneath there. Pretty sweet. Really do like the detail. Buck always does a pretty good job here. One of the best when it comes to all the little things here. Now you guys can see everything on the inside does look pretty sweet. And overall, this is one great looking truck. Up next, guys, we're going to be looking here at a Freightliner M2. This actually has a few different beds on it. It is color changeable, a few different wheels. And I will have to say, guys, this is a pretty neat truck. I really do like it. I can't wait uh, to use this out on the farm and so many different things there. But let's take a quick look. You can unfold the gooseneck there. All the lights do work here on the back, which is pretty sweet. Look at all those lights up front do work. And on the first person view, you do have an interior camera view, but it's not too detailed. Up next, guys, we're going to be taking a look here at the all-new TLX Phoenix. This is for all platforms here. Pretty sweet. It's located here under the trucks category. Let's take a quick look at it. There are so many customizable features. You could have a long edition. You could have a hauler, sleeper. So many little things here on it. Stretch frame. I really do like this truck. Probably one of the best semis we have. Like I mentioned, that is for all platforms here. A few different wheel options here. Off-road, wide tires. You could get decals, which is a pretty sweet thing. If you would like to make it look uh, pretty neat, uh, you have a few different options for lights up top there, which is neat. Uh, a few different engine options, and as we continue down, you do have a, a, a few different options for the bumper. Upon closer look, you guys can see this is pretty detailed here. Huge shout out goes out to 82 Studios because he's been making some really cool mods uh, for not only PC but for Xbox and PlayStation. But you guys can see this is a pretty sweet truck. Really do like it. You could actually open up the doors on it. That is a pretty cool animation. There's a few different things you could do here on it. Slide the fifth wheel back. You could raise and lower the axle. And let's see, let's see the last feature here, which I believe is the window there on the uh, driver's side which is pretty sweet but look at the inside guys it's pretty detailed working steering wheel gauges you have the cb radio this thing's overall really neat mod Oh boy guys, here it is. Look at this monster truck here. Pretty sweet. Few different wheel options and it's color changeable. But once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. This thing guys is pretty sweet. Look at that. That hitch actually folds uh, down there. But you could actually change the steering on it, uh, which is a pretty sweet thing. You could do all wheel steering or just the front steering, which is definitely a neat feature. And on the inside, oh wow, look at that. Pretty fancy. It looks like the entire dash here is a full LED full roll cage i mean this is serious guys this thing uh, could do a lot of fun definitely want to see what we could do with it 
Up next, guys, we have a Case 115 uh, here. Pretty neat. few different options in the store alongside of it. You guys can see we do have a very nice tractor. I believe uh, this is an old uh, CBT 1105 diesel, which is pretty neat. Over here, we have a big text utility trailer. There is a few different ramp options here. Skid ramp uh, without a ramp or with this one, which is pretty neat here. Alongside it, we have the uh, flatbed uh, combo trailer. A few different wheel options. It is color change. We'll look at at that uh, detail here I will have to say guys this trailer looks really good in this color that's one of the reasons why I do have it. you could also get it in a dump trailer which is pretty neat and last up for trailers we do have a car trailer here which is also on, on all platforms Last up, guys, we're going to be taking a look at quite a few placeable objects. Up first, you guys can see this old rustic barn. I really do like you do have a working lift here, which is definitely a pretty neat thing. I really do like all the detail there, all the boxes. You do have a little nice area, and then inside here is actually the uh, barn doors here. Really do like it. Lots of room. Over here, we have a modern barn, which is pretty sweet thing. Let's get these doors opened on up. You guys can see, look at that in here. Pretty big. Really do like the high ceilings. Uh, that looks great here over here we have a welker over here guys we do have a pretty big uh pack of buildings up first we do have a shed here pretty neat i really do like it i believe that you could actually fit a truck in there which is pretty neat alongside it you could actually if you guys really want you could get the same shed here with workout gear i mean that is pretty sweet if you do want to uh keep getting exercise that is pretty cool over here we do have a small one really do like it i believe uh, this one is more for kind of storage of maybe small equipment but mainly all the different supplies here you guys can see a lot of detail just look at the detail there even in the woods. I will have to say guys, the mods just keep getting better and better. Last up here, we do have this pretty big shop here. I really do like the garage doors, uh, those uh, windows there on it. But inside here, a lot of detail, huge uh, a machine lift there. You do have a car lift there. I believe this one does work. Let's see. Yep, that does work there. And little storage over there. Oh, look at that little kitchen as well. Uh, that is a pretty sweet thing. But last up guys, we have a few different objects outside. Alright, so here we have a post office, guys. Over here we have a Dairy Queen. That is uh, pretty sweet to go get some ice cream. And last up, we have an old farmhouse, which is pretty neat here. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. I do want to do a lot more of these, but it looks like the mods are coming out a little bit slower, which is no problem. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.